Right to repair has always been a big deal, especially in the 3D printing industry where sometimes patents have locked us down. But at least for the rep rap movement, well, give it a bit of a middle finger to the patents and said, we have the right to repair. But unfortunately, there never has been a great place to get the models for that kind of thing, at least until now. Printables is now introducing brand profiles with some really heavy hitters. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you like this sort of thing, make sure to leave a like and get subscribed. We're going to be covering some awesome news from printables.com, all regarding the right to repair and their brand new official brand profiles. This is pretty darn cool. Unlike this slightly expect segue to our sponsor 3d musketeers we get it 3d printing is not all that easy and in fact it's pretty complicated even though a lot of the newer machines make it easy things like servicing and dealing with print failures are never a ton of fun experts here at 3d musketeers can help you get back up in 3d printing when your machines go down or you just outright decide it's not for you. Business equals time and money. And if we can give you more time to make more money by paying us to do the work for you, it's generally a better deal than hiring your own team to run a print farm. That's the great thing about companies like 3D Musketeers. We have the experts, we have the knowledge, and we have the machines to help you go from art to part as quickly as possible. Whether you're an inventor looking to rapid prototype over the holiday season, or you're a big business looking to offload your prototyping to someone that actually knows what they're doing, you can reach out to the pros at 3D Musketeers. We also have high-end 3D scanning to help you get those physical objects digitized really easily time after time. time. With scanners like the Artec EVA and the Artec Ray, even the finest precision is relatively achievable with our technology. And our rates are pretty affordable as well. Both machines are portable should you need something outside of our general range here in Tampa, Florida. But we get it, not everyone's looking to go through all that rigmarole. They just want to kick a couple of bucks to help make these videos possible. And if you do like this kind of thing and you do want to support the channel, we'd greatly appreciate it. Patreon or YouTube channel members, links in that description down below. But we get it, not everyone has some cash to spare. So a like, subscribe, and share go a long way to helping out. Hey, leave a comment while you're at it. Greatly appreciate it. Let's get back to this right to repair thing. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Lewis Rossman, probably one of the biggest fighters for right to repair out there publicly. He's a pretty successful content creator with 1.75 million subscribers and not only spends his time showing apparently his cats, but also getting in front of the right people and talking to legislators to help get this kind of thing brought back to the masses. Unfortunately, until we have more people like Lewis and others that fight diligently for the right to repair, it might be up to us to repair the things ourselves when we can. Printables has decided to team up with some of these companies that push right to repair often, whether it's Adafruit, Cooler Master, Framework Knock to a Raspberry Pi and others, it enables you, the user, yes, hi, you, the user, to make your own damn parts instead of having to buy new full things. And they're also working with game companies to do things like models from games like DayZ, World of Warships, as well as ones from War Horse Studios. So you have Kingdom Come, so many options, and we're going to see more of them. And, and obviously, of course, Prusa Research having their own as well. And you get the little blue check mark. Can I pay eight bucks a month to have a blue check mark? That'd be great, Miki. Uh, make that happen. Okay, thanks. And Mikolas is such a massive, massive fan of printables. Like, literally one of the biggest fans out there. He himself said it. I really like printables, if you cannot tell. In a recent interview where we interviewed him at the East Coast Rep Rap Festival. We'll card to that video so you guys can take a look. Mickey's a great guy. I've had a lot of time talking with him one-on-one. -on -one. Highly recommended. The guy really knows his stuff and keeps up to date with this industry, which... To me is incredibly important we can see they're working with these verified badges and banners that effectively ensure that you know you're going to a real page rather than someone that is a copycat so when we look at knock to his page here now in the proper format of dark mode we can see that they've got options for different fans to 
adapt a 120 to a 140, add more ducting to their NAFD1s, inlet spacers, uh, ones for exhaust fans, and even little projects like battery-powered soldering fume extractor or a, another one that is just a little more maker-friendly that doesn't have all the nice features but gets the job done. And I also like how they've maintained their color scheme. Does that mean that Noctua has filament that's the right color? Or if they just released the CAD box? I'm curious. Because if I can get Noctua colored filament, someone find me that, send me some links because your boy wants some Noctua filament. Hamburger fans for the win. I might have a pile of Noctua boxes because Noctua fans go in all of my computers because they just work well. But I like to see Noctua here. They are routinely supporting some of the biggest OEMs for computer manufacturing out there to produce high quality fans at reasonable prices. In fact, Prusa's come with Noctua fans. They're just all black, which is a bad decision in my opinion, but fine. Nonetheless, they support the right to repair and they support the ability for someone to make their own parts. And I love that there's going to be more coming, right? This is a brand new feature literally announced just a couple of days ago as of recording this video. And that means that things are still getting started. We look at over here at Raspberry Pi, we only have a couple of things. But we see other community projects that involve the Raspberry Pi, which is always nice to see. With Raspberry Pi being built upon the maker community realistically. It is only a matter of time before we see more from them. Adafruit to me is probably one of the better examples of this. They have lots of little projects that are available for you as a maker to be able to make and print, utilizing things right from their website. So that means if you do build these projects, you have a failure for some reason, you can easily print those replacement parts. And it's really, really convenient. It's all here, their pictures are beautiful. Adafruit's been doing this for a minute and they have over 13,000 downloads. So quite a few people working on that kind of thing. Now I can definitely see that some people are likely figuring out how to get their models featured in the highlights from the community, but that's okay. I'm sure there's a way to deal with that. One that I've always enjoyed is Framework. Framework is a company that makes effectively a modular laptop that is upgradable, whether you're using modules to add different connectivity or you're adding in more components, whether it's RAM, SSD, and it even looks like they might be offering CPUs and GPU upgrades. But at some point you might decide that it's time for a brand new main board. That old main board is still useful. You can make a 3D printable case to take your old main board and still make it a thin computer that could be used for something like a media server, an all-in-one computer build, or whatever it might be. This is what Right to Repair is all about. They even have a full GitHub repository where you can look at everything that you might want to see. Now, the whole side with the video game things, I don't know, right? I'm not a big gamer. I've played some video games, so this isn't all that valuable to me, but it is nice to see the video game companies look at producing more high poly models for the community to produce rather than deal with some of the low poly models that a lot of people get when they rip the models directly from the games. Now, World of Warships, there's a couple of these other style games that are these, you know, free to play, massive online multiplayer games. They provide a lot of replay value, but some people like it for the historical accuracy. And they state that they go through all the CAD work to 3D scan the ships and all that. So, hey, World of Warships, you wanna play with some really awesome scanners? Hit me up. Let's go scan some warships. We have one here in Tampa. We have a victory ship, which is pretty darn cool. It's an interesting ship and it has a really cool history. But I, I do like this. I'd love to see like World of Tanks and some of the other ones on here where we can see not just, you know, Uncle Sam's canoe crew over here, but also see some of the land and air based vehicles. We have Cooler Master here saying, you know, Y'all are probably gonna break your cases because you're a bunch of goobers. So we have the ability to do things like panel replacement clips, extra feet, power supply brackets, SSD brackets. And as someone that is currently dealing with hard drives getting a little too hot and looking to add some more storage into my PC, I'm looking at doing a PCI bracket so I get more airflow across those hard drives. And I'm gonna be 3D printing it because there aren't many good off the shelf options. This is where right to repair starts to matter. Although I might just 3D print a new way to duct air down to my hard drives, but that's eh, a video for another day. Nonetheless, I really enjoy this. And I think this is a great initiative from printables to start the movement 
into Right to Repair. I believe this is what the community needs and it's what the community wants. We have a community full of makers that firmly believe that throwing something out is not the right option. We want to go to fix it. We want to do everything that we can to fix it. And if we can't fix it, we're going to really break it. Leave a comment below if you're that type of person. And let me know the time where uh, you thought you were fixing it, but you were really just breaking it worse. <laughs> this is a great article, guys. Go take a read. We'll link to it in that description down below. Let me know your thoughts and what companies you would like to see represented here on printables as verified. And, uh... Should they offer a verification for pay? That'd be cool. Honestly, I just like the banner. The, the banner's objectively really beautiful. And I think the companies that they have chosen have done a great job of making really, really pretty banners. So A plus, good job to the printable screw. And of course, all the parts you might need for your Prusa printers are all available here, including upgrades as Prusa makes them upgrades like handles and you know thermometer brackets all for their enclosures down to the products that prusa talks about splints and the like but yeah guys let me know what you think short video this week but that's okay holidays are either right upon you or coming up soon so if you haven't gotten that gift buying yet get out there go over to printables and find something to print there's some really awesome models out there that was supposed to be this week's video uh, but I forgot to print some of the models. That's on me. Sorry. Anyways, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. And you gotta love the Noctwood. Oh, yeah, they rolled out Dark Mode. Oh, so good. Oh, Dark Mode is amazing. Dark Mode. Here, I'm just gonna... Just, just, dark Mode. Dark Mode. Dark Mode. Dark Mode. Dark mode. Another one. Another one. Another one. It's so much better. It's just better. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. And a massive thank you goes out to all of our Patreon and YouTube channel member supporters whose names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Remember, links are in that description down below if you want to join this elite crew of musketeers that help make videos like this possible. If you like this kind of thing, a couple of bucks a month goes a long way to helping us and might not hurt you all that much. But we understand if it's not your kind of deal. Right below me will be our talk, an initial look at printables. It's really, really awesome. And uh, I have a really big banner from printables. So we're gonna have to get that hung up in the shop here one day soon. And right next to that is going to be my talk with Mickey as part of East Coast Rep Rap Festival 2022 coverage. I will see you guys down in those comments and in the next one. Take care.